All right, let's fire this thing up. We are thrilled that you have made some time to get back aboard the craft with us again. Hi, I'm John Graviscus, and it's great to have you back on our 1980 57-foot custom sport fish, which is called a Monterey. And just a little while back, we hauled the boat out in order to do a yearly pressure wash. You might get some grass or some algae or even a couple of barnacles, even if you have anti fouling paint. So it's good to kind of blast those things off with a high-pressure washer. This is also a really great time to examine the condition of the metal through hull fittings. What could happen is you might get straight current from a boat right next to you or from a dock. And that straight current can attack metal fittings, especially if they're not tied into your sacrificial anode. Okay? And what we noticed is we have some real problems. We need to change out some through hull fittings. And that's what today's topic is going to be about here at Shipshake TV. Now we're going to go through the process of how to install the through hull fitting. We're going to go down to Miami. We're going to show you how these babies get cast at a foundry, which is very, very cool. And then we're going to kind of touch on sea cogs as well as sea strainers, plus the importance of tying all of these metal fittings to wire, which is going to go to that sacrificial anode. It's called a bonding system, and we're going to get you covered. But guess what? Before we can get into any of this stuff, shoot, you know the drill by now. You see, we need to work out a little trade-off. We've got to get all of you to spend the next 30 minutes with us as we're working right here along the beautiful water's edge. And then in exchange, with again the help of a few of my very knowledgeable friends in the marine industry, we're all going to be fooling together in order to do our very best to let you in on a few more ways to make your boat ship shape. Ship shape TV. America's favorite boat improvement show.